Jones, it fantastic to get Jared Cook there. The man down under, making us look amateur. I wonder if he's got his kit yet. He ain't got his kit yet. I Is texted him and asked him. As soon as he gets the kit, he's gonna wear it in his roundup. Better do. Better do. Cost you a better do, Cook. Yeah. Better do. Anyway, we've got uh, Alex Wormsley, Lou McCarthy, Scarsbrook back with us, looking very dapper in his Saints polos, boys. Alex, tell us a little bit about the trotter. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather not. There it is. Can you get a zoom in on the trotter, please? Yeah. It's it's your upper left ear. Yeah. <laughs> I've not been not, probably probably not the better looking bloke as it is, but uh, <laughs> now I've got a cauliflower ear as oh, well. That's it's, a good uh, zoom. Yeah. That's, <laughs> a, oh. that's a zoom. Live. Oh, it's a live. Yeah, nice one. Cheers for that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I got got a nice whack in it. I've had it drained a few times. A lot. We've got a video now <coughs> we can play while we're talking about it uh, of, of it getting drained. You said that's of all the injuries you've ever had, that is the most painful ever. Getting it drained, yeah, you know, for sharp. It's only on for about ten seconds when you get it drained, but it's uh, it's not nice when you get it done, you know, and you get a big big nasty needle in your ear sucking blood out. So it's uh, yeah, it's one of the worst. It's it's not nice. It's not not nice either. It's upset me talking about it to be honest. <laughs> I don't think I was I was destined for a career in modelling after rugby, but. I think that's just pretty much put the nail in the coffin on that one. Louis, you, you've played in London, you're, you're at Saints now, you've gone big time up, up, up at St. Helens. Massively. A taste of the good life and a, a grand final win. What's what's next for Louis McCarthy? Are you looking to win more? What, like, what else would you like to win? Would you rather win this year? you got a choice. Challenge Cup or um, grand final? Challenge Cup. Would you really? Yeah. Grand, so that's I'll, London. I love I love the grand final. Grand final was a great experience. I'll never forget that in my life, but Challenge Cup, I've, I've, Dreamt of it since I started playing, and it's like it's just one of them things that I want to go to Wembley and play on Wembley and slide on the floor on Wembley and do everything in Wembley. <laughs> uh, uh, but it'd just be it'd just be class just to go there, especially with like this bunch of lads that we got. You seem to have a great bunch of lads there. You seem to have some some big big old boys like Mossimo. So what's he like as a character? He's good. Yeah, he's he's, uh, he's a big kid. He's a big kid. He's got. I, I heard he spent like loads of money on the uh, the game. Is it? I can't tell you. I don't, I don't think we could tell you. He's Classic told us how much money, but I don't think his his missus watching. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. He spent he's, a lot of money on Classic Land. Let yeah. me tell you that. Yeah. yeah. So. But he's uh, he's got like a tattoo of Pikachu on his leg. He's, <laughs> he done himself. He done himself. <laughs> what he's done himself. He's, he's just a big kid, to be honest. But. It's still one of those you you don't want to upset, do you? No, I don't want to see Dan Dark Alley either. They look like uh, <laughs> he might want to see you down there. <laughs> <laughs> they look like he'd been watching American wrestling the other day when they did the big belly flop. Who was that on? Um, McLaurin. Look like Bam Bam Bigelow. <laughs> yeah. Flying out of line, just flopped on his bone. Only about four minutes later as well, yeah, wasn't yeah. it? So he's a big he's yeah. a big thing. Yeah, you he's, see he's, him running as well when he stopped the uh, when he chased um, the ball back. Oh, did he off Forrest Gump? Oh, yeah. He'll yeah. 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 run back and then he played the ball and ran off. So yeah. it was very one of the best things ever. Great spin. Awesome yeah. This weekend, obviously, tonight you've got Cast Tigers. Mentioned it before. You, you, you're confident of a win over there? It's it's a tough place to go to. You know, it's you know, it's the old old school rugby league ground. You know, the crowd's on here from the offset and it's it's always good atmosphere. But like like we said earlier, they're in, they're in good form now and it's... You know they had a good win last week against Leeds, and you know they'll they'll be up for it. So we've got to make sure we match that enthusiasm. Louis, obviously you played some of the lower league for London. And you played around. What what was your favourite place to play? What has been your favourite ground to go away and play? Uh, St James's was really good. St James's was really good. Uh, got to do an Alan Shear at the yeah. end, so it was really class. Uh, but that was a good uh, place to play, and obviously the grand final at Old Trafford, that was exceptional. Did you play a bit of football when you were a kid? Obviously growing up down Massively, south. yeah, massively, yeah. yeah. That's why I team? want to play at all the football places. <laughs> 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 Who was your team? Who was your team? Oh, uh, Millwall. But, uh, yeah, so it's not too good, but we we won the relegation battle, so we come top of the relegation. Did you, did, as, a, as a player who's played at London, we were talking to Mike about it before, do you think London can ever work as a club? I think they can. I think I think there's so much, so much uh, talent down there that they can pick up on and uh, and thrive with. I think uh, what they need to do is obviously win games, and they've gone down to the championship. And at the moment now, they're, they're winning games. I don't think they've lost at home this season, so they're doing well. And to get the talent that's come through, because they are playing with kids at the moment, really down there, and they are really good kids. And if if they get back in the Super League, then they can hopefully blood the talent through, and then we'll take over the whole rugby league. 
think they're getting bullied by older players like you used to do and you used to do hopefully <laughs> hopefully yeah hopefully yeah baptism yeah, fire yeah oh massively baptism fire yeah do you think it'll uh, when, we think we're going to talk to them about going down and playing a, an away game once a year down there do you think that'll help yeah obviously get the crowds if you get more interest down there then it should build it up and if a, if a if a class outfit like Leeds or another Super League team goes down there and plays them then I, I don't see how it can get their in, uh, gates and bums on seats Jonesy some big fixtures this weekend Wigan versus Salford going to be a tough game for Salford. Certainly will, and uh, Wigan will be <coughs> smarting a little bit, won't they, after losing to uh, Saints. I think they'll be up training field, working hard, no doubt, and uh, they'll probably go to Salford and try using Plan A, because they've got no Plan yeah, B. Yeah, we're only joking, Alex Wormsley had a big cry, off screen. He was crying as well, he was crying. Don't say that. Look at all the man. Look at the man. Look at the man. Look at the man. Putting words in my mouth, you know what I mean? Uh, I think Hull KR versus Warrington is going to be the big game of the weekend. Warrington needs to bounce back from Huddersfield, and Hull KR looking strong at home this year. Really strong, yeah. Uh, Look like bringing, they've got a good record against you at their place, haven't they? They they can turn it on when they want Hull KR, and... uh, I think they'll be bearing for blood as well again this week. Catalans versus Wakefield. <laughs> it doesn't get much tougher, does it, really? No. Nope. Away at Catalan. Big strong side there, bashing people out at the minute. And it's uh, it's going to get warmer as well, isn't it? That big cauldron down in the south of France. Leeds versus Hull. And Hull, the, and again, Matt Minicello, freakish. You played him this year, Matt Minicello. Mm, yeah. Jones is the strongest man in the world. He's, he's very strong. Yeah, he's a really strong human. He's just got that squat build. Yeah. And he just... Like a, you eat him, he's like iron. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Can't move him, can't no. go with him. No, just go down. Just yeah. <laughs> Stay <laughs> down. Uh, Witness versus Huddersfield, last game of the weekend in the Super League. Uh, Witness need to bounce back after a disappointing result last they week. They do, but Huddersfield are playing well, aren't they? Yeah. And, uh, obviously, got a lot of confidence from beating Warrington last week. And you know, we've got players like Bruffy kick it more like he has yeah. done in this programme. It's, it's very we, tough to we do. We saw Jermaine McGilvery today in Car Park, and Jonesy went, Stop running over me, Tremaine! <laughs> <laughs> you stopped running over me. He uh, leaned right back then in his car, just uh, chilling out there at Huddersfield. Last question, Louis. It's great to have you on. Thank you both for coming down, Alex. I know you're a veteran here now. Yeah, I'm when, you reti- when, when, you reti- when you retire, mate, you've got a job with us for life. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. Um, you're known as the prankster. Everyone tells me, Louis McCarthy's cars, bro. The prankster. What's the best prank you've ever pulled? Could be at London, could be at Saints, wherever. What's the best prank the prankster has ever pulled? Marvin yeah. and his missus. Uh, yeah, 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 getting that one, yeah. But no, um, the best one was uh, convincing Will Sharp to lie on my car and duct tape him to it <laughs> and drive around with him on it. <laughs> really? Absolutely. With goggles on. Fantastic. He is he's mental, only Will Sharp. Yeah, absolute mental, but he did it and he was a legend. <laughs> right, next week on the show, we've got Richie Myler because we're going to finish off going around and getting these signatures on this game. And you've got to get James Robbie for us. We've also got Benny Westwood and we've got Ryan Atkins, Jonesy. Warrington crew should be a pretty Warrington good. Warrington crew should be good. Out and about on the road. Are again. we going to go to them? Yeah, we're going to go to them. Because they're not guaranteed to come to us, are yeah, they? So. No, Atkins is, is awesome, but he's uh, <laughs> he hasn't been back to Leeds for a while. So let's see how he goes. But thank you for watching tonight, guys. Thank you for coming on. Yeah, Big shout out to Keith and Mike. Uh, check out iTunes for our 10 minutes podcast, 10 minutes with Jonesy and Mike Rush. Me and Keith with these two fellas, free to download, get involved, keep it watching Rugby M, right here, Made Television.